Hi guys, so this is Garrett Robinson. I had a request to show how to use collections when exporting something from Scrivener to ebook and paperback and all of these other things. So I thought I'd actually just record a video tutorial that would show you how to do that. So in this video tutorial, I will be showing how to use collections as I export Realm Keepers Episode 1, which is actually free on Amazon and Kobo and everywhere else that you can download fine audiobooks. Um, so you should really go check that out if you enjoy this tutorial. I'll put some links in the description below. By the way, this is a good time to mention that this tutorial only works for Mac as far as I know. So if you're on Windows, I'm sorry. So this is our Scrivener file, and this is the title page, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And here we've got our back matter. All of our different versions of the book are going to have mostly the same stuff, but they're going to be slightly different. For example, in Amazon, um, my first call to action in the back of the book is Go Get Realm Keepers Episode 2. But that's for Amazon. Whereas for Kobo, it sends them to the realmkeepers.com episode to Kobo, which then routes them to the Kobo site. So we've got four different types of back matter here. We've got Amazon, Kobo, Draft2Digital, which is what I use to publish to Nook and Apple, and then Paperback, because episode one is also available in Paperback. They all have different back matter, so it's important to keep them separate. So what we're going to do is go over here and we're going to create a collection. So up here you've got your uh, collections pane. Um, and if you don't see that, you click on collections right up here. And then you just click on this little plus and we've got a new collection. So I will start with a collection for Kindle, which is going to be the first thing that I'm going to export. Kindle. Um, and uh, you will probably have something show up when you first create the collection. So just select that and remove it just to have clean collections. Then do another collection uh, for Kobo. Uh, another one for Draft2 Digital. You might need different collections for yourself. Uh, if you publish directly to Nook, for example, then you know, you'll know you have a Nook collection. If you publish to Smashwords, which I don't recommend, um, then you can have your own Smashwords collection. And then my final one will be Paperback. Okay, so now we've got collections, but they're not doing anything. Um, in order for them to be useful to us, we need to put actual content in them. Now, the one thing that is going to be the same in all of the collections is the actual book itself. That is not going to change. And that's why collections are so powerful, is that you have your book content here. You know, the chapters that I've selected here in the title page. That's not going to change. That's not going to change book to book, ebook to ebook. Amazon to Kobo to everything else. So uh, it makes sense to have one copy of all of that stuff. In other words, you could have a different Scrivener file for every different format you could do. You could have a, a Scrivener file for Kindle, a Scrivener file for Kobo, a Scrivener file for a draft to digital and one for paperback. The only problem is, is what if you need to go back and edit it? Then you need to open up four different versions of the same book and make the same changes every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our uh, content of the actual book, and we're going to drag that into every collection. And you can just click, drag, click, drag, and click, drag. And we're going to go through and double check that it's all there. Good. So it's all in every collection. Now we're going to go into the back matter. And again, that is different for each version. And we're going to select only the actual text files. The, the folders here, that's just to designate where it goes. So we select the text files. The Amazon text files go into Kindle. The Kobo text files go into Kobo. The draft to digital text files go into draft to digital And the paperback text files go into paperback. I'm sure you couldn't have figured that out without my help. So now, again, we double check. We've got our title page, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the first call to action, the second call to action, and then the About the Authors page for Kindle. We've got the same thing for Kobo, same thing for draft to digital same thing for Paperback. So then we go to our Compile window, and here's where we actually start, you know, using this. And uh, we've got uh, Compile Preset here, which is Kindle for Realm Keepers. Um, compile presets are a whole nother 
thing that I may do a tutorial on later if you guys want to know about it. But uh, so I select Kindle because I'm going to do the Kindle export first. Now, here's where we actually start using this. We click filter and then include documents in collection Kindle. And then front add front matter. So this is a Kindle ebook. So we're going to go with Amazon Kobo and Nook, which would really be called Amazon Kobo and Draft to Digital. Problem with copy paste. So good. Now we've got our ebook front matter, copyright, dedication page, and the author's note. Then we've got our book content, which is the same in every collection. And we've got our back matter for Kindle specifically. So we want to make sure that we include all of this because this is our Kindle ebook. Okay, and now I will compile this and it will go desktop, um, tutorial, uh, collections, tutorial, because it really matters to you what I'm naming it. And then this will be Realm Keepers Season 1, Episode 1, Mobi File Export. And then if I go into my Finder, Collections Tutorial, Realm Keeper Season 1, Episode 1, open that sucker up, opens it up in Kindle, there's our first page, go to our table of contents, and again, the only thing that's changing is the back matter, so let's go to Book 1, and there's my Book 1 back matter, Get Book 1, Realm Keepers Continues in Episode 2, which you should totally go by. Uh, and then if I click on that link, I'll, you know, just do that to double check, and it takes me to the Amazon page for Episode 2, uh, so that, you know, your customer can then go by that and continue on with your series, which isn't that what we all want. Now, we'll go over here and we'll go to Kobo, and I will select EPUB because Kobo takes EPUB, not a Mobi file, and I'll hit Compile and Kobo. And then we'll go here. And then we open this sucker up. There's our cover. And again, only the back matter is changing, so we'll go straight to the back matter. Get book one, Realm Keepers continues in episode two, available now. Click here to get Realm Keepers episode two on Kobo. Click on that link. And we are routed to Realm Keepers Episode 2 on the Kobo site. So there you go. That's how you would use collections in order to keep the core, the content of your book, the exact same, but have it different for every different place that you're putting it, whether you're exporting to paperback, Kobo, Amazon, whatever. You can have one Scrivener file so that when you're editing it, when it's going to maybe your co-author or your editor or whatever, you can all be working in just one file. But when you're compiling it with just a couple of clicks, you can be exporting for whatever platform you want. And you don't run the risk of having to make multiple corrections across multiple different Scrivener files. So I hope that tutorial has been very helpful to you. If it has been very helpful to you, shameless self-promotion, do consider going and getting Realm Keepers Episode 1 because it's free. And... You can get episode two for free if you go and review episode one. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll get out of your face now. Have a good day, everyone.